Today on the Living Young and Free Show, we take a look at saving money for back to school, how to be fashionably frugal, and the pros and cons of roommates. This is the Living Young and Free Show, giving the 25 and under crowd tips, tricks, and hacks to get the most out of your money. Young and Free is a credit union movement that gives young people a voice, a head start, and useful information. Hi, I'm Cheryl, and welcome to episode four. This episode, Living Young and Free is going back to school. First up, we have DeAndre with That's What They Said. This episode, he goes out to ask students how they're saving money for back to school. Thanks a lot, Cheryl, and I'm DeAndre from YoungFreeTexas.com. A couple weeks ago, I went down to Clute, Texas, to the Great American Mosquito Festival to see what people down there were doing to save money for school and for college, and these are just a few of the many interviews that I conducted with the awesome people of Clute. Check it out. School's about to start, right? So what do you guys do to save up do a little bit of extra stuff? I go out less. Skip the club and save up money so you can get a cool spot. What do you do, bro? I keep everything in place because, you know, you use a lot of pencils in the school year. Save your pencils because I'm the type of person, I buy like a 20-pack of pencils and lose all of them within the first week. Is, is that you too? I found some kindred spirits. Just don't buy stuff. Like, if it's something that I like, I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy it. Or I just don't buy food and kind of not eat as much. And if that means you have to go out with a group of your friends and eat off their plates, that's how you do it. I'm going to put all of the money that I currently have into the checking account. I'm just not buying anything. I don't have a job yet. That is the number one way to save money. Don't spend money! I work at the Social Security office and I'm putting all my money to school. Well, to save money, you would save it from working. Oh, I'm caught up in with Dow this spring and summer, so I've yeah. been able to make a lot of money there. When I'm working, I save about maybe 10 or 20 percent and put it in a bank account and saving. Get a job. Well, right now I'm just watching what I'm spending my money on. A lot of the little things quickly drains your money. You don't want to lose too much on, like, you know, just food and drinks and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like you want to lose weight or something. You don't eat the whole meal. You say, oh, I want a to-go box right now. Put that in there and I'll eat it later when I get home and I'll still have enough for tonight so I don't overstuff myself. They're breaking us off with knowledge down here in Clutes. We talked to some people. We found out about what people are doing to save money. Youngfreetags.com. Money! And the big question is, what do you do with all that money that you have saved up? The answer to that question is find your nearest credit union and run, not walk, and open up an account. As always, I'm Deontay. Come check me out every single day of the week, www.youngfreetexas.com. Back to you, Cheryl. Peace out. Thanks, Deandre. Up next, we have Miles with On the Cheap. This episode, he's showing us how to be fashionably frugal on a $40 budget. Hey everybody, uh, that was my model entrance pose, so I don't know if any of you pay that much attention and you notice that I shaved, now I look like a 10 year old. That doesn't change the fact though that we're still bringing you back to school week tips. Guess what? I have some back to college fashion tips for you so you can stay frugally fashionable and use alliteration because it's the best. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get an entire full outfit at a thrift store for only 40 bucks. My first tip would be to take old clothes that you have and convert them into new clothes. But if you're not that creative or just don't have the time for that, then the next best thing would be to go to your local thrift shop. I'm going to try and spend under 40 bucks. So let's go get frugally fashionably thrifty. Say that 10 times fast. Frugally fashionably thrifty. Uh, frugally, fa fa frugally fashionably thrifty. Fashionably thr thrifty. Frugally fashionably thrifty. You can't do it. Try and say it ten times faster. I'm just driving to the Valley Village thrift store. Bargain Hunter's Dream Store. Remember when you're shopping at a thrift store, when you're shopping anywhere. Determine the difference between your wants and your needs, like I learned from Justin and DeAndre. And sometimes you'll be like, oh, I want this, I want this cute, pretty little, eh, but you don't really, you don't need it. So, determine the difference between your wants and needs. And like I said, make sure you're limiting yourself to $40. Let's go do this. You can always find really cool things in thrift stores, like uh, ex-prison uniform. It was kind of weird to see. But I found some really awesome things, like this shirt, which was only $8, these jeans, which were only $10, and this hoodie, which was only $5. All right, everyone. So it was a successful shopping excursion. For a full outfit, I only ended up paying about $25 of the $40 that I gave myself. But I did a good job. So when you go out shopping for your new back to college threads, remember these tips. Limit yourself to at least $40. Make sure you're going to vintage and bargain stores. Make sure you pay attention to only what you need and not what you just want. And go back to school frugally in fashion. This has been On the Cheap with Miles Peterin. Back to you, Cheryl. Thanks, Miles. Up next, we have Josh weighing the pros and cons of roommates. 
Hey everybody, it's Josh. I just wanted to tell you that living with roommates can be a real double-edged sword. Things that look awesome now might not look so awesome later. Here are a few examples of what I mean. Man, I'm hungry. What is this? Ooh! Oh, hey, man. Dude! Speed. Gotcha. Dude, dude, what? Pause it. Pause it. Yeah. Pause Studying it. for a microbiology exam tomorrow at 8 a.m. Can yeah. you tone it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. a little. Got it. Got it. Okay, thank you. Alright. Ah! Gotcha. Gotcha. What the? What? No! Stop! Okay, guys. I have this month's bills. Now, Eric, you're gonna have to be paying the cable bill all year. Do you think you can handle that? Oh, yeah. Just once a month, yeah. send that in. Yeah, cable. Mikey, you have the power bill. If you don't pay this, we can't watch TV anyway, and our food will get spoiled because our fridge doesn't work. I got it, man. I got okay, it. and I'm gonna have the water and sewage bill, so don't be taking like hour long showers every day, alright? Sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah. Eric, you forgot to pay the cable bill! Oh, yeah! Whatever, I gotta study anyway. Microbiology. Mikey, you forgot to pay the power bill! My bad. Well, there you have it. Now back to Cheryl. Great work, Josh. And that's our show. You are now prepared for back to school. Just don't forget your apple. If you have any feedback or ideas for our show, feel free to comment below or write us at livingyoungandfree at gmail.com. Join us next time for more great tips, tricks, and hacks on how to make the most of your money. <laughs>